every living thing on Earth, from a tiny ant to a giant whale, shares something in common? What is it? It's all made of cells. This is the story of the cell theory, one of the biggest ideas in science. In 1665, Robert Hooke looked at a slice of cork under a microscope. He saw tiny, empty compartments and called them cells, after the small rooms in a monastery. But what he saw were just dead cell walls. Scientists had no idea that cells were actually alive. In the 1800s, two German scientists, Matthias Schleiden and Theodor Schwann, made an exciting discovery. Plants and animals were both made of cells. Until then, people thought plants and animals were completely different in structure. In 1855, Rudolf Virchow made an even bigger claim. All cells come from pre-existing cells. This meant that new cells weren't just magically appearing. They were dividing and growing from old ones. These ideas came together to form cell theory, which states, one, all living things are made of cells. Two, cells are the basic units of life. And three, all cells come from other cells. Thanks to cell theory, we understand how life works. It led to discoveries in medicine, genetics, and even cancer research. Every time you heal from a cut, grow taller, or fight off a cold, it's all thanks to the way cells multiply and repair themselves. The next time you see a plant, an animal, or even yourself in the mirror, remember, it all starts with a single cell. Want to learn more about the amazing science behind life? Subscribe for more fascinating discoveries.